Hi Leos, welcome to my channel. My name is Chad Tyro. I'm Becky and I'm here to do your first half of April 2019 general love reading. Alright, so let's go ahead and get started. I did tell Cancer um, that I am doing the readings a little bit different from um, Aries to Gemini. Um, I had recorded that a little bit earlier and then I'm recording this now. I have low lighting here, so I'm going to do it a little, a little bit different. But it's so going to be worth it, okay? I'm going to still try to give you the best reading I possibly can. So here we go. Let's get started. First card out. Five of Swords. Seven of Swords. The Magician. Four of Wands under the Five of Swords. Ten of Cups under the Seven of Swords. Eight of Swords under the Magician. Four of Pentacles under the Four of Wands. Three of Wands under the Ten of Cups. Queen of Cups under the Eight of Swords. Bottom of the deck and the overall energy, Leos. King of Wands. So, <clears throat> still very passionate, still very focused on the things that you are both braiding brave and courageous on still moving forward still hard working okay so what I'm seeing here five of swords seven of swords the magician we have conflict either arguments conflict mentally all right and this could be in regards to some type of deceptions and lying cheating stealing what I'm feeling like is there was an argument with either you or the other person was cheating and there's definitely an argument in regards to cheating and then we have a magician which is here telling us that either things are definitely going to work out or somebody is being manipulative okay this could be like mind games all right oh my bad guys so the signs that you could be dealing with is another fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. You could be dealing with a Gemini. You could be dealing with a Virgo. Or you could be dealing with a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. So four of wands, ten of cups, and the eight of swords. So either in a home relationship or a home type situation or a relationship, um, it's like your hat. The center of the reading is Ten of Cups. So you're, it's like you're wanting happiness, but somebody is still feeling stuck. So somebody could be feeling stuck at home and is happy, or that they're looking for happiness, but they're feeling mentally stuck and trapped. Now, for some of you, you could be dealing with a blind person or somebody legally blind because you see the, the eyes are covered in this card. If you are in regards to this blind person or you are the blind person, it's like you do find this relationship or some type of relationship or home situation that's going to make you feel happy, okay? Four of Pentacles, Three of Wands, Queen of Cups. So somebody's holding back, holding on, not letting go. And what they're not letting go is this. They're waiting, waiting. Somebody is waiting on their happiness somebody is waiting on that relationship that perfect shipment to come in the one that they know is theirs that has their name written all over it okay now this could be like somebody could just be holding on not letting go turning their back on a situation because they're so focused on their emotions all right that's low vibe but let's high vibe here so holding back holding on to what you have holding on to even yourself waiting for the right situation the right person the right place the right thing the right mindset checking in with those emotions now this could be definitely of love of self-love because the queen of cups masters self-love notice how she's looking at that cup okay so what else do i see lots of arguments in a home environment um because somebody's not letting go somebody's not letting go to some type of deceptive energy that happened uh there's a false happiness or that there some type of uh argument in a home situation because somebody's not letting go or somebody's just holding on to some type of negative situation what they want is happiness um but things are definitely going to work out it's just they're needing to look at the situation and what makes them feel stuck or what makes them mentally feel like that they cannot move on, move forward. 
Okay. So let's go into the Romance Angel Cards Love Ace. So first card is wedding. The situation may involve marriage. Okay. Like I said, the center of your reading, guys, is Ten of Cups. You guys definitely want that Ten of Cups. It's like, I am waiting for my happiness, Becky. I am waiting. Alright, and one thing I did notice here, too, you have no major, or you only have one major arcana, which trumps out the whole reading. Listen to my, listen to the rhythm of my intuition. Anything I want, I speak into existence. Alright, we have the magician here. So it's time for you to manifest, even. To manifest things that you really want. Alright, instead of feeling stuck, look, instead of looking it at the glass, half empty look at it half full all right there's this one thing i saw over um i live in fayetteville north carolina and we have this place called ducks donuts it's so good oh my god anyways this donut shop has this one poster and i thought it was pretty cool the optimist looks at the donut the pessimist looks at the hole so it's all in the mindset right <laughs> so the next card says true love this is a rom this is the romance of a lifetime all right for some of you what i'm seeing here too it could be a lot of conflict a lot of effery mind effery um, there's a lot of doubts in what you're manifested but you're needing to stop doubting yourself because what you are manifesting is a good relationship a stable relationship happiness but you're feeling stuck all right you're feeling stuck because there's something you can't let go of so it's like you're waiting waiting to figure out what it is waiting to feel that emotion of i think i know what it is or waiting for your intuition to guide you towards what it is all right or that you're waiting for somebody to express their emotions all right because you do have true love this is a love romance all right we have wedding the situation involves marriage okay and then we have love yourself first your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive okay so respect yourself let the ego let the pride down don't manipulate whatever it is that you're holding on you know your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive if you're holding back something but you don't want somebody holding back on you then how are you reciprocating all right now this could be you are the cross watcher leo bottom of the deck and the overall energy is chemistry yes it says there is a strong magnetic connection here all right so we begin the reading with five of swords so there could be argument mental conflict mind games all right and then we end with the queen of cups love all right so let's go to the angel answers first card out says abundance yes dolls yes you are due for abundance it's about time but remember what i always say time is an illusion energy is fluent all right and it says no need to worry. Everything's going to work out. You've manifested. You've done your law of attraction, Delio. You've taken the steps. You've taken the actions. Now you're needing to just kind of fall back and allow the universe to do its thing, okay? I mean, we have all but one as as the, the um, you know, the major arcana was that magician. So that trumps the whole reading, okay? What does that mean? It means this dominates the floor all right so what is it that you like what tools do you have in your tool belt to help this situation to put it in a sense where it comes out like awesome sauce it's like having a piece of wood and you have a tool bag you don't know if you have a sander in there you know this is somebody else's tool bag or the universe gives you a tool bag right the universe gives you a tool bag you don't know what's in there but when you look in there there's sandpaper sandpaper like different grits right you smooth out that wood so like when you run it across no splinters all righty 
Last card out says recovery. So needing to rest, needing to relax, needing to recover from this mental conflict, from this mind effort, from somebody having these doubts, somebody just being negative Nancy. Because I'm seeing a lot of swords action here, okay? Bottom of the deck and the overall energy, the answer is a new. A new. How a new? All right. So thank you so much, Leos, for tuning in to the, your reading. Please let me know if this message resonated by clicking that thumbs up, like, share, subscribe, comment down below. And if this message did not resonate, maybe the next one will be for you. Um, and if you'd like a personal reading to see what messages come out for you, check out that description box. Hit me up for a personal read. And I will see you guys in two weeks. Namaste. Love you guys. Bye.